Hey guys, uh, so the number 33, okay, we're just going to go through um, basically the meaning of the number 33 to the occultist. Okay, so basically in Freemasonry, the highest order is 33 degrees of the Scottish Rite. Now the Scottish Rite within Freemasonry was established in 1801, apparently with the uh, formation of the Mother Supreme Council at Charleston, South Carolina. Now this guy here is Albert Pike, he's one of the most well-known Freemasons that there's been. This is just one of his quotes. Third World War must be fomented by taking advantage of the differences caused by the agenda of the Illuminati between political Zionists and the leaders of the Islamic world. The war must be conducted in such a way that Islam, the Muslim Arabic world, and political Zionism, Israel, mutually destroy each other. And Pike is still regarded as a, in America as an eminent and influential Freemason, primarily in the Scottish Rite, Southern jurisdiction. And of course, right there. And there's the number 33. And this is Albert Pike's monument in Washington, D.C. Okay, and this is the placard that I believe is on that monument in Washington. You can have a read of that yourself. Okay, another quote. That which we must say to the crowd is, we worship a god, but it is the god that one adores without superstition. To you, the Sovereign Grand Inspectors General, we say this, that you may repeat it to the brethren of the 32nd, 31st and 30th degrees, the Masonic religion should be, by all of us, initiates of the high degrees, maintained in the purity of the Luciferian doctrine. If Lucifer were not good, why would Adonai, Jesus, calumniate, spread false or harmful statements about him? Yes, Lucifer is God. There's a Baphomet sign there, but you can't really make it out. Okay. Uh, another organization, some considered a secret society with Luciferian links to the Illuminati, although to others it's just merely an inept world body, is the United Nations. Now you're also going to find in the United Nations logo 33 sections 4, 8, 12, 16, 24, 28, 32. The one in the middle, 33. Now, in the book of the Secret Illuminati, written by Elizabeth Van Buren, she writes this In spiritual numerology, the numbers 11, 22, and 33 are the three master numbers, the highest being 33. The highest of the master numbers was the age of the master initiate, Jesus. This is their beliefs, not mine. At his death, resurrection, and ascension, giving more esoteric. A sense the 33 symbolizes the highest spiritual conscious attainable by the human being. So, in some circles, at least the number 33 holds esoteric significance as the highest of the master numbers. Okay, and then you've got the difference between esoteric and exoteric. Basically, esoteric intended for or likely to be understood by only a small number of people with a specialized knowledge or interest. And then to the general public, it actually means something else, basically. So this is what I'm trying to bring to you, the esoteric meaning. Okay, now another fam famous um, Mason, Manly P. Hall, stated this. When the Mason learns that the key to the warrior on the block is the proper application of the dynamo of living power, he has learned the mystery of his craft. The seething energies of Lucifer are in his hands. And before he may step onward and upward, he must prove his ability to properly handle energy. Okay, now some quotes from Manny P. Hall. When the Mason learns that the key is the proper application of the dynamo of power, he has learned the mystery of the craft, as we've just read above. Again, the seething energies of Lucifer are in his hands. Lucifer is the greatest mystery of symbolism. 
the secret knowledge of the Rosicrucians concerning Lucifer is nowhere so plainly set forth as in these plates, which virtually reveal his true nature, a carefully guarded secret about which little has been written. Lucifer is represented by the number 741. I will be covering those numbers later on. Okay, now, Helena Blavatsky. Um, she was an occultist, medium, part of the uh, Theosophical Society, uh, who gained an international following. Um, she dealt with the esoteric movement, which is basically the hidden symbols and so on. And this is what she says, Solomon's signet ring with seal diagram, Isis unveiled by Madame Lebatsky. Obviously you'll note the Isis, the secret seal of Solomon. Okay. So this drawing depicts uh, Blavatsky's handmade drawing of King Solomon's signet. And if we zip down, this is a hand-drawn one of the same thing, and you notice know all the threes. Now let's examine what the power of the Satanist believe resides in 33. I'm going to some quotes from a few people, books. Back to Elizabeth Van Buren, who seems to be an expert in this. In her book, The Secrets of the Illuminati, she says this. 33 appears to be found over and over again in the stories of the Bible and elsewhere. Jesus was 33 when he was crucified. There were 33 symbols of the Masonic Order. And one of their symbols depicts a double-headed phoenix crowned with the equilateral triangle. Inside this is the number 33. I'm sure you've seen this before. Double-headed phoenix. Some believe it might be an eagle. My research has led me to believe it is actually a phoenix, but... Ordo ab chaos, order out of chaos. And then the inverted pyramid with the number 33. You're free! And freedom is beautiful. And, uh, you know, it'll take time to restore chaos and order. But we order out of chaos, but we will. You're free! And freedom is beautiful. And, uh, you know, it'll take time to restore chaos and order. But we order out of chaos, but we will. Okay, so um, Van Buren again. Students of numerology are well aware that numbers affect a person's life. One's name, place, and time of birth all have influence on one's physical, mental, and spiritual being. This is what they believe. Each letter as a number has a certain vibratory effect. Uh, the picture produced by the various combinations gives an understanding of the character, karma, and potentialities of the person. In spirituality, in spiritual numerology, 20, 11, 22, 33 are the master numbers, as we said before. The highest master of them all is Jesus, according to them. I know his death, resurrection, and ascension, giving more esoteric ascents. The 33 symbolizes the, symbolizes the highest spiritual conscious attainable by a human being okay and there's more stuff that you can read okay so in regards to the death resurrection and ascension this is the occultist version of being born again Okay, so it represents the highest spiritual consciousness, and the triple three represents the man-god becoming immortal through his death, resurrection, and ascension. Just as the occultist considers Master Initiate Jesus, their beliefs, not mine, to have done. Okay, and at this point, a visible third eye will open up within them, and an eye that people can physically see. This is the personal aim of the occultist. They seek to escape the death reincarnation cycle so they never ever die again and this is basically the Masonic New Age Christ how they view it okay now I found an interesting snippet from um, Illuminati news website in 2006 you can type it in yourself this should pop up the fact that Joseph's dad 
sorry, the fact that Joseph, Jesus' father, was a master of the craft implies that he was a Freemason, not a carpenter, and that his craft was witchcraft. Jesus would have followed this tradition and goes on today and became a master of the craft too, master being a position of the Freemasonic structure. And we know of the legendary miracles they call spells Jesus carried out. Yeah, in the picture here. So events number 33, Waswell occurred on the 33rd parallel. Phoenix Light, it's also apparently happened on the 33rd parallel. First nuclear bomb testing site, the Trinity site, New Mexico, is on the 33rd parallel. Mount Hermon, the place where Moses was visited by God, is on the 33rd parallel. One third or 33.33 of the angels fell to earth from the heavenly realm. Bill Clinton was born in Hope on the 33rd parallel and also changed his name from Blythe to Clinton. Clinton is 33 numerology. Why did he do that? Because he believes it gives him power. Simple as that. Okay, the uh, shortest serving Pope. He lasted 33 days. And in David Yallop's book, he suggests that it's... Um, may have been a murder constructed by the Freemasons themselves. King David reigned for 33 years. Adolf Hitler was sworn in as Chancellor of Germany, January 30th, 1933. In numerology, the zero means nothing, so 333. The Jewish Holocaust officially began with the establishment of the concentration camp at Dachau, March the third month, 33. Hitler's suicide, precisely 3.30 on April the 30th. Federal Reserve Board and the New York Reserves Bank Governor Harrison agreed that the board would issue an order closing all Federal Reserve Banks on March the 3rd, 1933. David Koresh, a Messiah figure, died at 33. KKK, 33 numerology, 11. 11, 11. O.J. Simpson was sentenced to 33 years. There's a 33 cent store in the Simpsons. CNN on the 33rd parallel. The Twin Towers were constructed in 68, came down in 2001. It's 33 years. You can read a few of these of your own. Club 33, exclusive private club at Disneyland. Guessing that's the menu. And Disneyland is also on the 33rd parallel. Okay, that's to name but a few. Okay, now Gematria, numerology. 33 equals 156 in simple Gematria. 2nd of Feb is the 33rd day of the year. February 2nd is 156. 33rd element is arsenic. Arsenic is 33 in numerology. You've got the 666, which equals 156. The number of a man, as above, so below. And Mount Hermon. Which also correspond with writing out 33, equaling 156. All this has meaning to these people. Numerology. LL is 33. CC is 33. W, W and MM. They turn them sideways to make a 33. As in Marilyn Monroe, Mickey Mouse, Marilyn Manson, C.C. Deville, LL Cool J, Mike Myers, and the wrestling. Okay, you can read through this at your own leisure. So there you go, the number 33. And as it states, the 33 degrees was no mistake, it's like temperature 32 and below is frozen, not knowing. And at 33, Thor's knowing. So 33 is possibly the most sacred, most powerful number of all to these people. Thanks for watching.